The vessel has remained in this dry dock for 35 years. Oxidation has compromised approximately 40% of the outer hull plating. The propulsion system is completely immobilized. ...by integrated corrosion. Exposure to salt air has accelerated the degradation of the upper deck structures. The structure continues its slow transition into iron oxide. Ferrous metals react continuously with atmospheric oxygen and moisture. This chemical process creates a layer of hydrated iron oxide. This chemical process creates a layer of hydrated iron oxide. Corrosion penetrates the crystalline structure of the industrial steel. Corrosion penetrates the crystalline structure of the industrial steel. Pitting occurs where the protective oxide layer is breached. The volumetric expansion of rust forces the coating to delaminate. The volumetric expansion of rust forces the coating to delaminate. Moisture remains trapped beneath these failing layers of paint. Soluble iron salts migrate across the surface during precipitation. Structural integrity diminishes as the base material transforms. Entropy is the natural state of all industrial materials. The process of oxidation remains constant and irreversible. The vessel's weight now transfers entirely to the keel blocks. Oak timber provides the necessary compression between steel surfaces. Hydraulic side supports engage to prevent lateral shifting. Each support is calibrated to precise tonnage specifications. Stabilization is complete. The vessel is secured for industrial inspection. Forty thousand pounds per square inch. Kinetic energy replaces chemical solvents. Complete removal of non-visible contaminants. Surface profile achieved. Ready for coating. Steel substrate identification, grade A36. Surface condition, grade D, heavy pitting. 
abrasive media, almondine garnet, particle size 30 by 60 mesh. Removing primary oxidation layers. Velocity exceeds 600 feet per second. Kinetic energy transforms the surface, revealing the crystalline structure of the steel. Progress, 60% completion. Achieving white metal finish standard. Final inspection. SA3 profile achieved. Surface ready for inorganic zinc primer. Sequence initiated. Tooling check complete. Tooling check complete. Piercing successful. Travel speed 400 mm per minute. Thermal load, nominal. Gas pressure, consistent. Thermal load, nominal. Gas pressure, consistent. Cycle complete. Section 104 be removed. Raw A36 carbon steel, high tensile strength, 20 millimeters thick. Precision measurement is the foundation of all heavy fabrication. Thirty thousand degrees Celsius, severing the molecular bonds of iron. Five hundred tons of pressure, cold forming the structural angle. Fabrication complete. Specification met. Form follows function. Robotic precision ensures uniform heat distribution across the EH-36 steel grade. Shielding gas prevents atmospheric contamination. Point, ensuring a slag-free finish. Vertical up welding is completed. Thermal distortion remains within the three millimeter tolerance. The structure is now ready for ultrasonic testing and final coating. Initiating phase one. Surface preparation complete. Ultrasonic transducers emitting at five megahertz. 
Penetrating reinforced hull plating. Waveform reflection remains within nominal parameters. Subsurface density is uniform. Activating structural scanner. Mapping external geometry to submillimeter accuracy. Data integration complete. Whole section 4B meets all reinforced specifications. Inspection cycle finalized. System returning to standby. Inspection cycle finalized. System returning to standby. Phase 1. Vertical extraction and transit of the primary power unit. Once secured, the gantry crane takes the strain. This engine, weighing over 40 tons, must be moved with absolute precision. The 12-cylinder marine engine weighs in excess of 40 tons, requiring immense force to lift from the dry dock floor. Tolerances for initial seating are set at 5 millimeters. Tolerances for initial seating are set at 5 millimeters. Secondary calibration utilizes dual plane laser emitters to ensure axial concentricity. Final torque specifications are applied. Deviation is measured at 0.01 millimeters. Installation complete. Alignment verified. System ready for fluid integration. Installation complete. Alignment verified. System ready for fluid integration. Systems optimal, voltage stable, bus active.
Preparation complete. Surface geometry mapped. Initiating primary layer sequence. Zinc-rich primer applied at 8 of 5 bars. Molecular bonding initiated. Intermediate epoxy layer provides the primary moisture barrier. Uniformity check. Nominal. Final anti-corrosion barrier complete. Total thickness, 400 microns. Surface integrity verified. The vessel is protected. System stand by. The air is thick with the rhythmic, mechanical thumping of the pumps. Final application begins with a high solids epoxy coating. The mist hits the hull surface and instantly liquefies into a smooth, wet sheen. Robotic precision ensures a uniform thickness across the vertical plane. The sound is a continuous, high-pitched hiss of escaping air. Consistency is verified through real-time wet film thickness measurements. The gauge shows a perfect 250 micron mark. The protective barrier is complete, ready for the vessel's return to sea. The transformation is absolute. Restoration is complete. Hull immersion reaching 50%. Cradle release. Cradle release successful. The Aegis is operational, floated, and balanced.